This is Jim. I'm here with Teardrop Trail, and uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about today about our hatch. You'll notice that I've got a uh, a bungee cord on the handle, and that's because without this bungee cord, the hatch itself actually pulls up pretty easily. But worse than that, the trailer would flex a little bit, and then pretty soon we'd be going down the road with the hatch up like this. In fact, the first time it happened, we were in Kansas and driving along and we hit a series of rumble strips and a truck driver came by and was gesturing to us and pointing at the trailer and so forth and rather excitedly we thought oh great someone likes our teardrop trailer well no he was trying to tell us that our hatch was up and we hadn't noticed so it became Marilyn's job that trip to keep an eye on the rearview mirror and make sure the hatch wasn't up so the project today is to put on a pair of latches and we're going to mount those things one here one over here so that we can put those latches on those spring-loaded latches and it'll hold this lid down solid so here's an example of the kind of latch we're talking about and I I bought these from a seller on eBay and the way these operate is you just pull up on them the latch comes loose and then whatever you're connected to can be removed and as you can I hope see on the uh, wood the distance between the screw mounting holes to get the right tension on the latch is three and a half inches. What we're going to do is put this latch, just straddle this uh, part right here so that when the hatch is down, just like that, so that when the hatch is down, it'll hold it down. So the first step is to figure out what we have going on behind this screen. This is the screen that is the vent for the interior air conditioner for our little teardrop. So I need to pull this off and find out what is behind here. I can see in the in the in the hatch that I'm just going to be screwing into a metal plate and this is an aluminum skin so I'll be going through aluminum for sure and I need to see if there's something else behind there that I can attach to. So let's do that first. Okay there we go. Okay so let's look inside and Looks like there's a piece of wood behind there that we can screw into. That's pretty handy. The next step after that is to figure out where we want these positioned. So the center line of the trailer is right here. And we're going to try and do something that doesn't interfere with anything else. So just looking around, there's nothing in here that it's going to interfere with. So we'll just want to make it the same distance on both sides and go one, in, one foot, one and a half inches to kind of split the difference. I'll get my marker out and mark that. One foot, there's one and a half inches just right there. Okay, and same thing from this side. One foot, one and a half inches to right there. And so I'll take this and I'll just center it on there like that and mark my hole. Okay, so there's my hole for that side. This is a great little tool I found one of the Red Power Roundup tool shops that we went to one year. And what it's doing is it's making a dimple in the metal so my bit won't travel when I drill the hole. Okay. So those are ready, and now get my drill, put in my bit, and away we go. And sure enough, there's wood behind there, just like we thought. Same thing over here. So I've got a little bit of a hole drilled in the wood. Put my screws in and make sure I've got the right size hole drilled so that I can put screw the screws in. And I do. 
get the other one started too. Okay, that one's been started also. And now, I'm just going to find the second one of those screws right there. have to get rid of the wasp. The wasp wants to make a home on our teardrop here. One of the things about shooting in the outdoors, oh there's a nice cool breeze. It's hot here today in our home. So we're shooting in under a canopy which shields us from the sun but it's still very warm. All right, so we've got one half of the latch installed. Now the next step is to position the part that it mates with, which is this thing right here. So I'm going to get my marker again, and I'm going to close the hatch lid, I'll move this up here, and get it lined up as close to vertical as I can, okay, and I'll make two more marks. Now this time we're just going to go into metal with 1024 machine screws. So I need to get my... So now I've got my bit. I've got, uh, I need my center punch. Okay so now I'm going to use my center punch again. Both holes. And there we go. And then I just drill straight through. And there it is. And now we get the hardware that we need, which is two of these stainless machine screws. These came from uh, the home store, but you can get them at any hardware store. It's just a standard 1024 thread. And I'll need a, a couple of lock washers, same thing. A couple of lock washers. A couple of 1024 nuts. I kind of miss the days when you could just go in and grab a handful of nuts and bolts out of a bin. It's harder to deal with these little plastic packages. Okay, so we take the piece of hardware Put the 1024 screw through it. The idea is to that's just a perfect fit. How about that? And then I'm going to take a nut and I'm just going to tighten this down to finger tight like that. Do the same thing again on the left hand one. And there it is. And then I'll take my handy dandy screwdriver and tighten it down. Okay, that's tight. And there we have a finished latch. Without disconnecting this, let's put the second one on. Okay. We hope you enjoyed this little project on our trailer, and we plan to do more of them as we go down the Teardrop Trail. Thank you for your interest. Mm -hmm.